But who the hell are you to talk down to anyone? You failed college twice, which isn't nearly as bad as your failure as a father. How's that son of yours you never see? But you know what? I could forgive all of that, all of it, if you weren't such a bore. That's the worst of it, Brian. You're just a big, sad, alcoholic- Hold the phone, Quagmire. I am not taking any more of this crap coming from you. You are just as much of a scumbag as you accused me to be. You wanna play ball? Let's play ball. You are also the worst person I know. You constantly hit on your best friend's wife. The man pays for your beer and is just always there for you. And this is how you repay him? And to add insult to injury, you piss all over his yard. And what really bothers me is how you think honesty is a justifiable reason for your treatment towards women. If anything, it makes you even worse of a person because you're not even willing to change. I get that my buying is cheesy at times, but it doesn't quite compare to the stuff that you did in the past. God, you're such a creep. And you delude yourself by thinking this is just some funny character gig, even though most of the stuff you do is downright criminal. You know, I should've known better to be friends with someone as disgusting as you, considering people like Lawrence wants nothing to do with you. And I think what I hate most about you is how you assume I don't go out my way to help the community. I worked down to the soup kitchen for several years, Quagmire, and have you seen you down there? You wanna help? Quit lying and grab a goddamn ladle. By the way, the model of a cut does not correlate with someone's beliefs. It's ironic how you imply I'm an idiot when you come up with such a stupid statement. Also, you're the last person to be criticizing anyone for parenting when you are the father of a thousand people. But you know what? I can think of all of it, all of it, if you weren't such a creep. That's the worst of it, Quagmire. You're just a big, sad, alcoholic creep. <sighs> well, see ya, Quagmire. Thanks for the f***ing steak.